What do masks represent about France and the Francophone world? The function of a mask is to hide the face, but the idea of the mask can be viewed as a metaphor which puts forward the idea that something can be hidden or revealed. Masks throughout history have served a great purpose, particularly in theatre. In France, during the reign of the Sun King, or Louis XIV, masks became more prominent in theatre. They were able to stereotype different types of people, including the poor servant, the doctor, and the romantic character. According to Nicole S. Class, the use of the mask enhanced an actor's ability to personify any character or particular stereotype, never representing a particular individual person. This is a classic character that was used in theatre called Biero La Lune. He was a typical character for plays who was known for always crying as nobody loved him. Theatre productions were also able to criticise French society at the time, especially when it came to comedies. These criticised society in a humorous way and were able to get away with it. Two particularly important things that masks represent about France and the Francophone world are the imitation of the bourgeois and an emphasis on colonialism. In essence, plays had the ability to make the bourgeois seem like a mockery and they did this in a way that no one else could. Even the king enjoyed these spectacles which openly criticised French society. Mask was used in theatre to mock and imitate the bourgeois. Theatre used current events at that time to form the basis of their plays. Molière in particular even used theatre to mock other races in front of the king and therefore he got into his favour. By using mask he was able to openly criticise society. Another key aspect about the Francophone world that the mask represents is colonialism, especially in Africa. Tribal African masks such as these are the sorts of things that were regarded as colonial treasures by the French society. In 1966, Son Man directed and released a film called La Noire de not only having a political critical title, this film touched upon key aspects of post-colonialism in Senegal and how it translated in French society. Once translated, the title reads Black Girl in English, and this film tells the story of a Senegalese woman called Diana, who moves to France as a nanny but ends up being treated like a slave to her employers. There is an African mask featured in this film, which Diana gives to her employers at the start of her employment, which follows her to France. It becomes a symbol of Diana's origins, and as the situation worsens, the mask becomes a bigger reminder of her home back in Senegal. Sombern's first feature, La Noire de Black Girl, in 1966, shot in black and white, is a searing account of the isolation of a young black domestic servant working in Antibes and the first African feature produced and directed by an African. This statement, written by The Guardian, outlines the success of this feature and how it shocked people. To conclude, the idea of the mask as a concept instead of an object remains very political. It is not only used as a device to educate us about the history of theatre, but can also be used as a criticism of French colonialism as shown in La Noire de. There are also plenty of other connotations associated with the mask, which just goes to show the direct importance it has on France and the Francophone world. It has been present throughout history and therefore has influenced a lot, be it popular culture or even theatre. The idea of concealing one's identity through a mask or costume remains a popular concept all over the world. Even today, this may be because a disguise sometimes seems like an attractive idea, for example, at particular times of the year. The mask will always remain to be a device used to conceal, whatever that concealment be. <laughs>